will kick off for Oklahoma State from right to left. The shadows have encompassed the entire playing surface here at Boone Pickett Stadium. Bradley Stevens and Cyrus Gray, a true freshman, deep to return for the Aggies, who are dressed in their road white with maroon numbers. Cowboys in their home orange with white pants. And Bailey's kick is high and end over end. Taken on the right side by Gray. He'll come out of the end zone from two yards deep, up the middle to the 20. Right hash mark to the 25 and tackled from behind at the 28-yard line. A bit of a high tackle there, but no face mask call. It looked for a moment like Gray's head had been turned a little bit. And Justin Gent might have gotten away with a little bit of something there. The Texas A&M offense will be under the direction of sophomore quarterback Gerard Johnson. A 6'5", 229-pounder, Stephen McGee will probably not be available at quarterback for A&M. He suffered a shoulder injury last week in the Aggies' victory over Army. One back set on first and 10. Johnson quick pass, near side, incomplete, almost intercepted. Intended for the tailback, Mike Goodson, who was lined up wide out on the right side. Incomplete pass. It'll be second down and 10 for A&M from its own 27. Unusual in that A&M, one of the few teams anymore that you see that's actually huddling between plays. Ugo Chinasa dropped back as if it were like a zone blitz. They had it well defensed. Jeray Chatham is starting in the interior of the Cowboy defensive line after missing the last two games with a foot injury. Second and 10, Texas A&M from its own 27. Johnson takes a shotgun snap, hands it off to Goodson, left side, runs through a tackle at the 30, and is dropped at the 31 as he ran off left tackle. Ori Lemon, the inside linebacker, made the stop of the Cowboys. It'll be third down and six for A&M from its own 31. As much as they'd like to run Goodson wide because of his speed, Dave, he's had all sorts of issues through this season. Getting to the corner, part of it is the offensive line hasn't been good enough to give him a better angle. In fact, Goodson does not have a run for more than 14 yards this season. That's amazing. Third and six as Johnson takes a shotgun snap. Throws left side, man wide open. It's caught by Fuller, the freshman, to the 48 and tackled at midfield. That's Jeff Fuller, a true freshman who beat Quinton Moore in coverage, and he hauls in the throw for a gain of 19 yards and a Texas A&M first down at midfield. Got away from Quinton Moore, but part of the reason he was open, the Cowboys brought Patrick Levine on a linebacker blitz that time, and he vacated that spot from the field. Texas A&M has had some success moving the ball between the 30s, but they've had a hard time closing drives. They have a first and 10 from midfield. High formation. Johnson hands it off to Big Jaborski, laying up the middle, and he's drilled at the 48. It stopped after a two-yard pickup by senior safety Ricky Price. Jaborski Lane only has 14 rushing attempts coming into this game, but he did have a season-high seven carries for 38 yards in last week's victory for AM over Army. Penetration on the left side of the, by the Cowboys defensively forced Javorski Lane to change direction. He needs a head full of steam to really hurt you. When he has to change direction, that's half the battle for the defense. Lane, the 270-pounder, is out. Split backs. Johnson in the shotgun takes the snap on second and eight. Rolling out to his right. He'll run it to the 45, and he slides down at the 44. Boy, I thought he slid too soon. He may have given up. Yardage necessary for a first down by making a slide there. Gain of four yards will set up a third down and four for Texas A&M from the Cowboy 44. Patrick Levine is a man who forced him to make that decision. Patrick came from across from the other side of the field. And, you know, that, that, that's a sign of a quarterback who hasn't had a whole lot of time under center at this level because it did look like he was second guessing himself just a little bit. The Cowboys go to their speed package, three down linemen, but they have seven men on the line of scrimmage. Here comes the blitz on third and four. Quick throw near side, caught by Fuller. Ball is fumbled to the 43 and it's scooped up by Hugo Chanasa. Running down the left sideline to the 30, 25 and knocked out of bounds at the Texas a and 21 yard. Talk about the keys to making this Cowboy defense successful, forcing turnovers. Did it three times last week against Troy, and here Fuller has enough for the first down, but Jacob Lacey just hangs on and pokes it loose, and Ugo Chinasa right there to scoop it up. So now make it 11 Texas A&M offensive possessions that have ended in the opponent's territory without points, and turnovers have been a big problem for the Aggies. Now Oklahoma State first to 10 from the A&M 21. 
Zach Robinson, the junior quarterback in the shotgun. One back set with Kendall Hunter to his right. And Zach hands it off to Hunter, makes a cut, running on the right side to the 15, darts around to the 13, and is tackled at the AM 12. A gain of nine yards for Kendall Hunter, who averages almost eight yards per carry as the nation's fourth leading rusher, Matt Featherston. The inside linebacker made the stop for the Aggies. Wasn't quite as impressive as that matrix move, but it was the same thing as last week against Troy. Line goes left, he cuts back right. Second and one, handoff to Kendall Hunter, off right guard, and he gains a yard. Up to the 10, down to the 10-yard line, Lucas Patterson, the defensive tackle, made the stop, but it's a first down for Oklahoma State. Will it be a first and goal? We'll see. I think it will be a first and goal for the Cowboys from the AM 10. I formation. You have Des Bryant and Demarcus Connor split left. Bryant Ward from Stillwater is the fullback with Kendall Hunter at tailback. 11-28 left in the first, a scoreless game. Cowboys first and goal from the 10. Hand off to Hunter. Looking for room to run. Makes a cut to the center of the field. Carries a tackler inside the five and is dropped at the AM four-yard line. That play was designed to go off left tackle. Then Hunter hesitated. Cut back toward the right side of the field and gained six yards. Let's go down to Robert Allen. Classic Kendall Hunter, Dave. He hid behind the line. They could not see him. The Aggies couldn't. And then he cut to the open field with his vision. Just 5'8", but 190 pounds. The Cowboys sophomore tailback, Kendall Hunter. Second in goal, Oklahoma State from the AM 4. Robinson fakes a handoff, running on the right side, tries to work his way into the end zone, but he stumbles out of bounds at about the one and a half. He fakes high formation. Zach Robinson under center. Des Bryant, Demarcus Connor split left. One tight end in the game. Robinson, quarterback sneak straight ahead, pushed back, then leans forward. Did he get in? He did not. About six inches shy of the goal line. It'll be fourth and goal for the Cowboys from the half-yard line of Texas A&M. Dave, Cowboy fans remember the struggles down near the goal line OSU had last year. They could have put more space between themselves and the Aggies last year, and the fans certainly want OSU to go for it here. You can make a real statement if you choose to, but you got to get it in the end zone. The Cowboys have scored on their opening drive in each of their games so far. Fourth and goal from inside the one. I formation. Demarcus Connor goes in motion. Now comes back to the left side. And Robinson hands it off to Hunter. Runs through a tackle at the goal line and gets into the end zone, I believe. Oh. Or did he? They're I thought he no. got across the plane to the goal line. But they say he was stopped short. Oh, I, I think you'll need to review this. I think he got in, John. Well, it certainly looked from I our angle. I thought he got in. That his shoulder, his left shoulder and his helmet may have gotten in. But here's a replay. Well, do you have an angle that will give you a definitive answer? Oh, look, at, look at that. His, foot, his left foot is in the end zone. I think he was in, John. His left foot is in the end zone. And now they're going to look at it. Previous play is under review. Well, I'll be honest, John. Let, let's go down to Robert Allen. Robert, what do you think on that? I Did think, you have a view? I, I think he got in, guys. I mean, I don't... I don't see how they did now. He got turned around with the ball in his hands as soon as he got in the end zone. After review, play stands his call. Oh, wow. First down, a &M. Now, the only thing I can figure on that is he's got the ball in his right hand. Did the ball ever actually cross the plane, even if part of his body did? There's the biggest concern that Mike Gundy has had with his offensive line. That's why he says the offensive line has played good, but not great. The ability to line up and smash somebody on defense when you need to. That's why he's been so hesitant to give his offensive line high praise. So AM, first and ten from inside its own one. Gerard Johnson straight ahead on the quarterback sneak. Gerard Johnson under center takes a snap, hands it off to Lane, off left guard, and he is knocked down after a three-yard pickup out to the four. Quentin Moore made the stop. That defensive stop came after the Cowboys forced a fumble. Jacob Lacey forced it. Hugo Chinasa ran it back to the AM 21. Let's go down to Robert Allen. Quick injury report. Uh, Derek Burton, he's okay. He uh, can go back right in. Uh, probably will see him even though Jamie Blatnick's in now. 
Eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Oklahoma State and Texas A&M are scoreless. Third and seven for the Aggies from their own four. Johnson under center, out of the eye. Fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, flush from the pocket, throws short, the pass is intercepted, and taken into the end zone by Hugo Tanasa. Pistols firing, touchdown Oklahoma State. Well, that's one way to get it done. Tanasa in the right place at the right time. And the concentration after the ball is tipped, because he juggles it for a moment, and you had Jamie McCoy, who, let's be honest here, Dave, he struggled through this early part of the season for the Aggies. That ball went right through his hands. And into the awaiting hands of Hugo Chinasa, who's had the first quarter of a lifetime. He shot like 59 at Augusta National in the first seven minutes. Dan Bailey on for the point after. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. Shows a blitz. They rush six. Robinson throw over the middle. Caught by Bryant to the 10, to the 5, and he takes it into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Des Bryant. It's first and 10 from the Cowboy 44, and Robinson swings it out to the left side. Caught by Bryant. Blockers in front to midfield. Bryant to the 45 of AM. And finally stopped at the Aggie 44. Gain of 12 yards before Vaughn Miller, the sophomore linebacker from DeSoto, Texas, made the stop. First down, Oklahoma State. You see a lot of teams in college football try to run that play, a quick screen outside. The only way it really works is if your receivers can block. And that time, Cowboys got a couple of good blocks on the edge. Robinson in the shotgun, takes a snap, fakes a handoff, rolls out right, throws it deep down the right side, and the pass is incomplete. Good grief. He threw it into double coverage, and that ball should have been intercepted. It falls incomplete. Terrence Frederick, who a moment ago was guilty of that 15-yard personal foul on the punt return, had it in his hands and dropped it. Second and 10 coming up. You know, I, I'm not so sure he wasn't looking at Bo Bowling that time, who was the underneath receiver, but he felt pressure from Michael Bennett and got rid of it, and I think it sailed on him a little bit. Second and 10 Cowboys from the AM 44. Bo Bowling and Demarcus Connor split right. Des Bryant to the left. Kendall Hunter in a one back set to Zach Robinson's right. Second and 10 from the AM 44. Zach takes a snap. Hands it off to Hunter, off left guard. Bounces it to the outside to the 40, 35, 30, and knocked out of bounds at the AM 25. A gain of 19 yards for Kendall Hunter. First down, Oklahoma State from the AM 25. Danny Gorer, a senior cornerback. He's not going to want to look at this one in film study when they review. He put a move on Gorer, and Gorer totally whiffed. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the AM 25. Quick snap, hand off to Hunter, hit in the backfield, spins, but then is hit again and dropped for a four yard loss. Back at the Cowboy 29. And those two plays are an example of what AM likes to try to do to you. They may hit you for a loss, but the previous play, the Cowboys bust a big one. They blitz a lot, all kinds of different blitzes. It's almost like in basketball, a junk defense. They're giving you all kinds of different looks, changing things up, trying to get you out of rhythm, much like what you'd see out of a triangle and two in basketball, for example. Same type of, same type of thought process. The old veteran defensive coordinator, Joe Pines, more than 40 years in coaching, knows what he's doing. Second and 14 for Oklahoma State from the AM 29. Robinson back to pass, pumps, throws it deep down the right side for Bryant, and he overthrew him incomplete at the goal line. Had him open, but he had to let go of it. The pressure from the blitz that time from the linebacker spot, Matt Featherston, the middle linebacker, got through and put a hat on, uh, on Zach Robinson. He wasn't the only one coming. Cowboys did a good job picking the other backer up, but Featherston got there. And Zach had to let it go a little bit more quickly than he wanted to. Third down and 14, Oklahoma State from the Texas A&M 29. Cowboys 7, Aggies nothing. 4.03 left in the first. Robinson in the shotgun. Hunter in a one-back set to his left. Bo Bowling and Des Bryant split left. Demarcus Connor to the right. A&M shows a blitz. They rush six. Robinson throw over the middle. Caught by Bryant to the 10, to the 5, and he takes it into the end zone. Pistols fire. Touchdown, Oklahoma State, Des Bryant. At the last second, 
You know, I'm going to give Zach Robinson credit for seeing something on that left side because he moves the back over to his left to help on protection. He saw something he liked with Des Bryant, looked that way. Corner just let Des get inside of him, and nobody else was home. Dan Bailey on for the extra point to try to make it 14-0 Oklahoma State. Zach Robinson will snap it, or rather Zach Allen, I should say. Snap back, ball down, line drive, kick is on the way, and it's good. First and 10, AM from its own 20. Johnny Thomas in its safety, the true freshman for the Cowboys. It's a handoff to Goodson off left guard, and he is stuffed after a one-yard gain at the 21 on the zone read. No room. There's no room over there. Cowboys did a nice job of clogging that up. Tonga Taya and Jure Chatham team up to make the stop. It'll be second down and nine for AM from its own 21. And a nice job by Chinasa that time, not diving inside to take the, the ball carry. Here's responsibility. Johnson has to read him. If he sees Chinasa staying at home, then he's going to make the handoff, and that's exactly what happened. We also have Justin Chent in at linebacker for the Cowboys on second and nine. Gerard Johnson takes a snap. Scrambling up the middle, and he's hit from behind and tackled after about a two yard gain. Up to the AM 23. An ankle tackle made by, I think it was Jure Chatham, who took a swipe at his ankle and knocked him off balance. It'll be third and seven. Junior Tia. Okay. Dives in there, and he's the first one to get there, and then Chatham's right there. Let's go down to Robert. Hey, guys, he looks jerky back there in the, in the pocket. He looks perky jerky and like he's panicking because he had an open receiver. He had time to release the ball, and he didn't even bother looking downfield to see, uh, I think it was uh, McCoy, Terrence McCoy, that was wide open behind the Cowboys secondary. Remember, he had a disastrous first start against Miami. He fumbled five times and lost one of them. Third and seven, Johnson throws deep down the left side. The pass is incomplete. Overthrew Jeff Fuller, the intended receiver, who got caught up. His legs got tied up with a Cowboy defender at the 40, and Roy Johnson hit as he threw it. Incomplete pass at the Aggies for the second consecutive possession. We'll have to punt it away. Cowboys brought some extra pressure coming in off the right side defensively. Was that Sexton that got through and laid a hat on him? I think you're right. 14-0, Oklahoma State on top, and Texas A&M about to punt on fourth and six. Justin Brantley will kick it away. Good snap. Des Bryant looks to return it. And this is a high, booming spiral taken by Bryant, center of the field at the 12, to his right to the 25, makes a cut at the 30. Stumbling, but keeps his balance as he goes down the right sideline to the 40, back to the middle to midfield, and Des Bryant's on the loose. Good night, Vienna! Pistols firing! Touchdown, Oklahoma State! Superman, Des Bryant! Des Bryant makes that play because as he initially starts out trying to go up the middle of the field, AM has a couple of defenders, but his ability to keep his balance and change direction, and it was almost like he accidentally found the wall down the right sideline because no one was home. Cowboys did a great job sealing that side of the field once Des got around the corner. AM first and 10 from its own 20. Cowboys up 21-0. Johnson hands it off to Goodson. Left side, blockers in front to the 30. Down the left sideline to midfield, and Mike Goodson's on the loose. He's gone, folks. Mike Goodson with an 80-yard touchdown run. Touchdown, Texas A&M. I think it was Andre Sexton got knocked down on the edge here. We'll get another look at it, but he does not need much space. And we talked about the problems that the Aggies have had getting him around the corner, and up that time he had... Pretty good lead blocking as he got to the edge. Just an inside handoff. They sweep it right side. He's being led by Gray and then one of the tackles. And really, one of his lead blockers never had to touch anybody. Cowboys, a couple of them took a, took a bad angle. Snap back, ball down, extra point on the way by Richie Bean, and it's good. Cowboys are still up by 14 points. AM first and 10 from its own six. Jaborski Lane in the backfield and Johnson back to pass. Throws short left side. The pass is caught by Jamie McCoy, the tight end. He takes the ball up to the AM 17. It would be a first down if the play stands, but holding it won't. 74 of the offense. 
the goal penalty takes the ball back to the AM three, where it's first and 13. High formation. Johnson hands it off to Jaborski Lane. And we may have had a false start by AM. One of the Cowboy defensive linemen, Jeray Chatham, jumped across and tried to get back. Was he drawn off? Prior to the snap, offside. Contact was made by number 96 of the defense. Five yard penalty, first down. Takes a snap, fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, throws it deep over the middle, and the pass is incomplete at the 36 yard line. Intended for Ryan Tannehill, the third string quarterback who's been moved to wide receiver, at least temporarily. And Jacob Lacey was in coverage. Second down and eight coming up for the Eggers. Johnson under a little bit of pressure that's a little high, and Tannehill had to stop the route. So he threw it behind him, and he had to adjust. That's four straight incompletions now for Johnson. Second down and eight, Texas A&M from its own eight. And of course, it stops the clock. Cowboys with only one timeout left this half should they get the ball back. Jaborski Lane lined up at fullback in the eye. One back set, rather high formation with Goodson. And Johnson back to pass, scrambling, running straight ahead to the 10, makes a cut to his right to the 15, and is tackled at the 15-yard line, about one yard short of the first down by Ori Lemon. The first man that hit him took a swipe at Johnson, trying to force a fumble, and he's had a lot of fumble problems. He had five fumbles against Miami, but he held on to it. He's a yard shy of the first down. It'll be third and one. Jeremiah Price came in off the left side of the defensive line for the Cowboys, got a left hand on him, then circled back around, got a right hand on him, but just couldn't get enough of it. Third and one, a and from its own 15. 2-12 left in the first half. High formation. Johnson takes a snap, hands it off to Lane, straight ahead. He's hit and pushed backwards, and I don't know if he got it or not. Oh, they're giving him, yeah, they're giving him an unbelievable spot. a and has scored on an 80-yard Mike Goodson TD run. And Johnson back to pass, pumps, hit as he throws, throws short, the pass is tipped and intercepted by Patrick Levine, putting down the left sideline, and he takes it into the end zone. Pistols firing, touchdown Oklahoma State, Patrick Levine. Johnson pump faked, and his outside receiver, I think he wanted to go there, but he looked at the man in the shallow, the soft spot of the zone, and it's just almost exactly what happened with McCoy, right off his hands. Now a and goes with three down linemen, and Bennett standing up as a left defensive end. Now he goes to a, uh, to a three-point stance, lines up down, and Robinson hands it off to Hunter, and oh. Hunter is basically arm wrestled and knocked down at the 40-yard line. Let's say arm wrestled, basically just tackled with an arm by Michael Bennett, who came over from that in position after the two-yard game. That's a legal clothesline is all that is. That's what it was. That's a better yeah, description. Yeah, and he grabbed him up around the shoulder pad. That shows you how strong Michael Bennett is. Second down and eight, Oklahoma State from its own 40. Robinson in a shotgun snap, or shotgun formation, I should say. Two receivers right, one left. That's Des Bryant split left. Kendall Hunter in a one-back set. Now Hunter shifts over to Zach's left, and Zach takes a snap, hands it off to Hunter, up the middle, and he bounces around, and he stopped for no gain. It'll be third and nine. Searle Obazor, the defensive end, made the stop. And that's the first little look of frustration on Kendall Hunter I think we've seen all season as he got up from that tackle. He's trying to find a hole because the linebacker comes right up in there. But again, the hesitation against what AM is doing doesn't work. Third and nine, Oklahoma State from its own 39. The Cowboys are two for eight on third downs, and Robinson fakes a screen pass, throws over the middle, and a diving catch is made by Damian Davis at the AM 45. Robinson had to unload it before taking a hit. And Davis went down low and made the diving reception for an Oklahoma State first down. Faked it out like they were throwing the swing pass and a nice catch by Davis on a low ball because Bennett was up in Zach Robinson's face. Yeah, you can't account for everybody in this scheme that AM plays. It's guys like Davis that are going to be open. Good point, John. 16-yard reception for Damian Davis. First and 10, Cowboys from the AM 45 as Zach takes a shotgun snap. 
Runs his own read, keeps it. Running to his right, turns a corner to the 40. Right sideline to the 38, and he steps out of bounds at about the 36. A gain of nine on the play. As Robinson faked the handoff, went to his right, and took it down to the AM 36. Where it'll be second down and one. Bennett bit on the fake. Jordan Pugh knocked to the ground by Demarcus Connor on a nice block on the outside. Connor and Bull Bowling are split left. Des Bryant split alone to the right. Early in the third, Cowboys 28, Texas A&M 7. Robinson looks to the sideline to get the play, looking to his right. Zach takes a snap, hands it off to Hunter, up the middle, room to run to the 35, and he bulldozes his way down to the A&M 30, a gain of six. That's the difference right there. I mean, if Hunter, if he's guilty of anything sometimes, dancing side to side too much, he's so good and so explosive once he decides to go straight ahead. It's a better job by the line, though, too. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the A&M 30. Robinson in the shotgun with Kendall Hunter to his left. Demarcus Connor and Bo Bowling are split left and Des Bryant to the right. Play clock is down to 10. <laughs> Zach is changing the play, yelling to his offensive lineman. First and 10 from the AM 30, and Zach hands it off to Hunter up the middle to the 25, and he squirts down to the Yankee 23-yard line. Gain of seven. It'll be second and three, and let's go down to Robert Allen. Hey, one thing about Kendall Hunter, he's got to trust his lineman. And that's when you dance around like that, that's when you think the holes aren't there. Some of the time, they have been. So these last two plays, John, you're right on. He's trusting the line now. Second down and three, Oklahoma State from the AM 23. This drive started at the Cowboy 38. Robinson takes a shotgun snap, pumps, sets up, throws it deep down the right side for Des Bryant, and he makes the catch between two defenders in the end zone. Pistols firing, touchdown Oklahoma State, Des Bryant. I think they'll look at this one again on the replay because they're going to wonder if Dez's foot got down in bounds. That ball hung up just enough for that safety to get over. But what a catch by Dez Bryant. Oh, sandwiched between two defenders. From their own 47, Johnson takes a shotgun snap, hands it off to Cyrus Gray, the freshman, up the middle, and he gains two to midfield, stopped by Ori Lemon, the inside linebacker. Third and two coming up for the Aggies. With 8.52 left to play in the third quarter, and Oklahoma State on top, 35 to 7. Expect Javorski Lane in here. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get the ball. Watch out for trickery here, too. Remember, they used Lane in a trick play situation last year for a huge play in College Station. Through a pass. Yes, he did. Lane is a fullback, high formation. Third and two from midfield. Cowboys jam the line, and Johnson back to pass. Throws right side. It's caught by Lane. Right side line to the 40. Runs through a tackle at the 38 and is tackled at the 37. Gain of 13. There you go. First down, Aggies. Well, I don't know how else they could get it to him in that situation now because you've seen him get it straight up the middle on a third and short in years past. You've seen him throw a pass. Now he's caught a pass coming out of the backfield. First and 10, Texas A&M from the Cowboy 37. This drive started at the Aggie 30-yard line. Four receivers, two to each side, and Gerard Johnson takes a shotgun snap. Swings it out in the left flat, dropped by Tannehill. Incomplete pass. It wasn't a very good throw, and then Tannehill dropped it. Andre Sexton was right there with him. Incomplete pass. It'll be second down and 10 for the Aggies. You wonder whether he could see Andre Sexton coming up as this ball was getting there. But yeah, Johnson threw it out in front of him, but he kind of short-armed it a little bit. Well, AM's receiver core was depleted coming into this season, and that's evident. They've had a hard time catching the football. Second and 10, Aggies from the Oklahoma State 37. Gerard Johnson takes a shotgun snap. Drops back the pass, has time. Now he'll run it to his right to the 35 and spun down at the Oklahoma State 33. Tongatea tackled him from behind. It'll be third down and six for AM from the Oklahoma State 33. 
Nice job by Junior fighting off his block. Johnson finds a lane. He's got pretty good feet right there. But he kind of ran himself into the back of one of his blockers. Third down and six. Texas A&M from the Oklahoma State 33. One back set. Two receivers left, one right. Johnson in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Blitz coming. Has time. Rolling out to his right. Throws it down the right side and just throws it away to the Oklahoma State cheerleaders. They're going to get a hold because Andre Sexton came on a blitz and was just dragged down. And they're looking at. Here we go. Holdy, number 76 of the offense. Ten yard penalty. Repeat, third down. Michael Schumard, the guilty party that will take the ball back to the Oklahoma State 43, setting up a third and 16 for the Eggs. That's exactly where it came to. Sexton coming off the right edge. And he just got kind of taken down. Pretty good wrestling move. Oklahoma State 35, Texas A&M 7. A&M with a third and 16 from the Cowboy 43. Three down linemen for Oklahoma State defensively. Five defensive backs. Gerard Johnson takes the shotgun snap. Three-man rush. Sets up, flush from the pocket, scrambling to his right, now dances around, runs up the right sideline to the 35, and his ankle tackled at the Oklahoma State 31. He gained 12 of the yards back. Andre Sexton made the stop. It'll be fourth down and four for AM from the Oklahoma State 31. You had Patrick Levine kind of hanging around, oh, for lack of a better term, spying, but he missed Johnson. Fourth and four, Texas A&M from the Oklahoma State 31. The Aggies will go for it. OSU up 35 to seven. Gerard Johnson in the shotgun. The sophomore quarterback marking out the signals. The Cowboys show blitz. Here they come as Johnson takes a snap. Under pressure, throws it deep down the near side. The pass is caught at the Cowboy 10 and tackled at the eight yard line. True freshman Jeff Fuller beat Ricky Price on the play for a gain of 23 yards. It'll be first and goal for the Aggies. Cowboys didn't bring the house, but they did bring a lot of pressure, and Fuller just got behind Price. And a good throw by Johnson. Texas A&M is 8 for 11 in red zone scoring opportunities this year. They have a first and goal from the Cowboy 8. The problem is they've taken almost six minutes to move the ball down the field. They're down by four touchdowns. Johnson in the shotgun takes a snap, hands it off to Goodson up the middle. He's stuffed and stopped after maybe a yard. To open the second half. Empty backfield, Johnson in the shotgun. Second and goal for Texas A&M from the Cowboys six. Cowboys have four down linemen, two linebackers showing the blitz. They rush four and Johnson back to pass, throws over the middle, it's caught for a touchdown. Brian Tannehill, rather Ryan Tannehill, was wide open in the back of the end zone for the score. A mix-up involving Ori Lemon, Patrick Levine, and I think Quentin Moore, the safety, because both Moore and Lacey were over in the left corner of the end zone, and no one was with Tannehill. Like they both bit on the outside, Tannehill went inside. Richie Bean off of the point after. Line drive kick is on the way, and it's good. Three receivers left, including Bryant, with Damian Davis and Demarcus Connor. Keith Tostin in a one-back set to Zach Robinson's right. On first and ten, Zach takes a shotgun snap, fakes, throws deep over the middle, caught by Damian Davis to midfield, cuts to his left to the 40, down the left sideline 30, cuts back to the middle to the 25, hesitates, breaks a tackle, and is dropped at the AM 23. You may have found that complimentary guy. You know. Damian Davis 
is overshadowed in this class because of Des Bryant, but frankly, anyone's overshadowed because of Des Bryant's talent. You hoped you were going to get some ability out of Damian Davis like this, and so far tonight, so so good for him. Damian Davis from Tiny Mart, Texas, population 2,273. That was a big city play by the Cowboy wide receiver. High formation. Robinson under center, takes a snap, hands it off to Tosin. Right side to the 20, makes a cut to the 18, spins to the 15, and is tackled near the first down stick at the Texas A&M 13-yard line. Took a big hit at the end of that play by Anthony Lewis, but, you know, he didn't mess around with dancing sideways. You don't get that from Tosin so much. He's more of a head full of steam guy. Hits the hole, makes one man miss, and then takes on the contact. That pass play, by the way, to Davis went for 45 yards. This is an eye formation. Robinson looking to the sideline to get the play. Second and one, they say, from the Texas A&M 14. Zach takes a snap, hands it off to Toasted. Up the middle, runs into a man at the line of scrimmage, and I don't think he got the first down. Well, it'll be third and short. Anthony Lewis, the linebacker, stuffed it for the Aggies. Now you don't want to balk down here. You know, the last time you had a third and short kind of in this end, you had problems. Jamal Mosley is in at tight end on the right side. Starter to shift to the left. Now he bounces back to the right. Robinson under center. Tostin in a one-back set. Third and one. Quarterback sneaks straight ahead. And Zach easily gets it first down. Diving it. All the way down to the Aggie 11. First down, Oklahoma State. Good surge. David Washington leading the way. And you want to be smart on that, too. I mean, if, you, if that's where the space is, go ahead and take it there. Oh, sure. Three receivers left, one right. Des Bryant split right. Now we have, I think, a substitution infraction against AM. They broke the huddle with 12 guys. Illegal substitution on the defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. Robinson in the shotgun. Two receivers left. Des Bryant alone to the right. One back set. Zach takes a snap, fakes a handoff, keeps it. Running straight ahead, and he runs it into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Zach Robinson. It's like that football almost has some stick -em on it, too, because that wasn't clean pulling it out of Tostin's belly, but a correct decision by Zach Robinson. And really, from an offensive standpoint, you marched it down the field and you ran it in. You got it inside the 10, and this time you punched it in. Good confidence builder for the Cowboys. Dan Bailey on for the extra point. Snap back. The ball is down. The kick is on the way, and it's good. First and 10, rather second and 10, I should say. Texas A&M from the Cowboy 26. Johnson takes a shotgun snap. Four-man rush. Sets up. Whips it over the middle. The pass is broken up. Incomplete. Almost intercepted at the one-yard line by Terrence Anderson. Should have had it. <laughs> oh, Lane was by himself in the flat. Oh, my. This is an opportunity for Terrence Anderson. Johnson does a nice job of stepping up in the pocket. He put a lot on it, but it's Anderson cut right in front of the receiver. And it just went right through his hands. Just underway, fourth quarter. Oklahoma State 42, Texas A&M 14. Aggies third and 10 from the Cowboy 26. Gerard Johnson takes a shotgun snap, throws left side, caught by Tannehill, and he's upended immediately after eight yards. At the 18-yard line, Andre Sexton made the stop. Obviously, four-down territory for the Aggies. They'll face a fourth and two from the Oklahoma State 18. The Aggies given this opportunity by a Cowboy fumble. And a and quickly up to the line. Johnson takes the snap. Throws quickly left side. The pass is caught by Jeff Fuller for a first down and spun out of bounds on the far side at the 11. That's the fastest we've seen A&M get to the line and snap the ball all night.
First and 10, AM from the Cowboy 11. Clock running, 14-18 left to play in the fourth. Fuller split left, Tannehill and Terrence McCoy right. The Aggies victimized by five turnovers as Johnson takes a shotgun snap, hands it off to Goodson left side, and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Cowboys had a lot of orange shirts bunched up in the middle as if they were showing blitz, but they didn't actually come. And a quick around the end for Goodson, and that's what he can do when he finds the edge. We've seen that twice tonight. Richie Bean's kickoff is high and end over end, into the wind. It's taken by Parrish Cox at the six. Turns the corner left side, 30, 35, 40. Cuts back to the middle to midfield, into AM territory, and finally tackled from behind at the Texas AM 37 yard line. He set up the man on the edge with just a little bit of a lean, and then you get to see what kind of speed Parrish Cox possesses. A little crow hop to get around the uh, blocker, the block from Des Bryant, and he just runs past two AM defenders who were trying to keep him in toward the middle of the field. 57 yard return, and while the Aggies partially blunked them, are partially blocked, a Matt Fodge punt blunked. That's nice. Uh, the Cowboys have dominated otherwise. Blunked. <laughs> What's blunked? <laughs> I don't know. It's onomatopoeic, though. What? There. Bo Johnson in the game at tailback, and Zach Robinson keeps it, running on the left side on the zone read to the 25 and dropped at the AM 20 yard line. A gain of 17, a beautiful fake. I thought Johnson had it for a moment. Robinson kept it, ran left, and gained 17 yards, and a Cowboy first down at the AM 21. Nice job of blocking on that left side, too, by the Cowboy offensive line. Jamal Mosley, the tight end to the left side. Bo Johnson, the junior college transfer to Robinson's left. First and 10 from the Texas A&M 21. The Cowboys have had a 78-yard punt return for a touchdown and, most recently, a 57-yard kickoff return to set up this possession. Play clock down to two. Robinson takes a shotgun snap. Hands it off to Bo Johnson. Hit at the line of scrimmage and just sort of bulls his way for a yard down to the A&M 20. Jordan Peterson, the safety with the stop of the Aggies. And it's been a grind for the Cowboy offense. 293 yards of total offense for the Cowboys, and they were averaging almost double that, 562 yards per game coming in. Second down and nine, Oklahoma State from the Texas A&M, 20 and a half. Demarcus Connor, Bo Bowling split left. Des Bryant alone to the right. Here comes a blitz, and Robinson takes the snap, sets up, throws it deep down the right side, and the pass is caught by Des Bryant in the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. The fourth of the night for Des Bryant. Danny Gore is the defensive back on that side, and he got caught picking into the backfield. Des just ran right by him. Gore looked in, thought he saw a run, and Des went right by him. 